My second issue for me right now is even more critical. Mr. President, every year, billions of dollars leave the poorer countries and go towards rich countries. Billions of dollars siphoned off by the ruling elites of the developing world. And they find their way into Western bank accounts, offshore accounts, tax havens, expensive properties hidden behind companies bought in Western capitals. Mr. President, this is devastating the developing world. This is causing more poverty, deaths. It's impoverishing the developing world. The difference between rich and poor countries is growing because of this. Money laundering, which happens because money leaves the poorer countries into rich countries, is not treated the same as, for instance, money from drugs or terror financing. The seriousness which terror financing and money from drugs, the way it is treated, it's not the same. The way the poor countries are being plundered by their elites, it's not happening. In my country, when, my, when I took uh, uh, charge of our government a year back, in the 10 years preceding that, our total debt went up four times. The debt we had accumulated in 60 years, just in 10 years, it went up four times. As a result, the total revenue we collected in one year, half of it went into debt servicing. How are we going to spend money on our human beings, 220 million people, when half the money is going into debt servicing. Because our country was plundered by the elites, the ruling elite. And the easily they could get the money out. And when, when, Mr. President, we located properties in Western capitals bought by this money through corruption and money laundering, located the properties of these uh, corrupt leaders, we find it so difficult to retrieve it. That money, if we retrieve that money, we could spend on our human beings. But they are such, it's so difficult. The laws protecting these criminals, we do not have the sort of money to have expensive lawyers and spend millions and millions of dollars. We need help from the rich countries. And Mr. President, it's critical. The, the rich countries must show political will. They cannot allow this to happen. How can, how can the poor countries spend money on human development, which the United Nations asks, SDG? How are we going to do it? When this money can easily leave our countries. So, unless the rich countries intend to build walls to stop economic refugees coming, as we see right now, they must take action. They must take action now. We, they, it must be a deterrent. Ru, corrupt ruling elites should not be able to take money out easily and park it into foreign bank accounts and into these properties abroad. And, and I never understand why. Why do we have these tax havens? Why is this allowed? Why shouldn't rich people pay taxes? Why is it legal to save, have these tax havens where you have these secret accounts? Because, you know, the world is changing. The, the population of the world is growing. Sooner or later, you're going to have a crisis. If the poor get poorer and the rich get richer, there is going to be a crisis sooner or later. So this is my second point.